All right, this is Chuck, and I'm here to show you, as promised, my setup of how I do my videos. I'm going to do this in two parts, one to just show you how it's physically hooked up, then I'll show you how I actually do the, the editing. All right, so I have a GoPro that's up there, and here's a picture of it, and a picture of the back, and then also a picture of the adapter that allows me to hook up an external mic like this. Uh, the GoPro has a mic inside of it, but it's not very good. It sounds pretty crappy. You don't need a real nice mic like this. This is a, oh, I think this shock mount and this mic here, this is an Electrovoice RE20. I think this whole thing runs about $500. I actually uh, work in radio, in radio broadcasting, and uh, I was able to acquire one of these. I didn't steal it. They gave it to me. Um, uh, but there are smaller, uh, cheaper mics. I'll send you a link to one that a lot of people have talked about. Um, and you don't even need a GoPro. You can use your, your cell phone. Uh, if you have an iPad, they have... Um, cameras on them so anyway that's just the basic flow then i have my mac now some of you have pcs but the hookup is about the same so of course here's the keyboard this is a, a novation launch key 61 almost all of you have at least a 61 key keyboard um One, you have oops two, we didn't want to start that set. <laughs> um, you might have a full 88 key Almost all of them use a USB cord that comes out of the back. So that's the one end. That's the uh, end that would go into your keyboard. If I can get this back in there. Uh, the other end, and I'm sure all of you have this part down or else you would have been playing, but I'm just going to go over it anyway. This is the other end, uh, the USB cable. Now the Macs, um, unless it's a really, really old Mac, won't have a USB input that looks like this. You'll need an adapter. So mine is the newer MacBook Pro, and it uses what's called a USB-C. It's a little thin, flat-looking thing, and I just have this adapter, and you can get these at Best Buy or Amazon, that simply adapts the USB to this style and then we plug it in and that powers up the keyboard and connects it over to uh, playground sessions now the older Macs have what they call a Thunderbolt connector somewhat similar that what I just showed you but you can see it's a little fatter um, so that's a Thunderbolt it has this little symbol on it and some of the some of your TVs might be different. So I'm hooking my TV up uh, with a USB-C to HDMI cable. Now I'm not going to unplug it back there, but the HDMI, this is the female end of the HDMI. Uh, in fact, I have one right here, I think. It's still in the package. So we'll go ahead and take this out. So the uh, HDMI cable, the male end, looks like that. I forget what HDMI stands by uh, for. I think it's High Definition Media Interface, if I'm not mistaken. So anyway, the Macs, uh, you may have an older Mac that doesn't use these USB-Cs. might use the Thunderbolt, but you can get an adapter. This is an adapter for uh, Thunderbolt to HDMI. Some of the older Macs have an HDMI built in, so you can just plug your cable right into to the Mac, or you can get this adapter. And, you know, you just plug it in that way. You plug in the other end to your TV. So most TVs or monitors are HDMI, or they might be what's called um, VGA. So that's the other end of a VGA. I don't have one of the cables, but it's usually a blue 
plastic case around the cable and it has 15 pins so you can see all 15 of them and it has that shape um, if it's a really really old PC I don't think the Macs ever have them, had them but the PCs did uh, this is what's called a DVI connector and I don't have one of those I think I do in a box somewhere but uh, that's what that looks like well you can get an adapter for a Mac um, to connect the DVI if you had to. Uh, so those are several ways to connect a Mac and like I say a lot of the PCs have HDMI or they'll have VGA. So with the Mac um, to get the video up it's just a matter of uh, connecting it to the TV. This particular TV is uh, an LG and uh, if I click this little button, you'll see the various inputs that I can select from. I don't know if you can see that on the screen. You can see it changing. Uh, there we go. Um, some of these LGs um, and Sony TVs, you don't necessarily have to t uh, switch the input. It'll switch automatically. It'll just detect when you plug it in. So I have my DISH network uh, on it, and if I was to turn that on, it would automatically switch my screen to the DISH network. And then if I plugged it into the Mac, it would switch over automatically to the TV. But uh, I won't get into that because, you know, again, there's probably hundreds of TVs out there, hundreds of computers, um, but... You'll basically have HDMI, VGA, or a rare case, a DVI connector to get your video up to the screen. Some of you have asked what the iPad is for. Um, now, some of you have iPads to have your uh, Playground Session software on. I simply use it to control the GoPro. Otherwise, I'd have to get up and hit, hit start and then come back down, and uh, this way I can just start and stop the video and I can kind of see it as far as framing you know is the mic in the way of the keys you know something like that um, now of course I have this mic boom you don't need one of those uh, I'm gonna the link I'm gonna send you uh, for the microphone the GoPro adapter and the uh, from Amazon is uh, a shock mount, it has its own shock mount. It's a microphone made by a company called Rode. Um, you don't have to get one of those. There's all kinds of them. If you have a Guitar City, or, uh, I'm sorry, a Guitar Center in your city, uh, they have a nice setup where they have about, I think, 10 or 15 different microphones in a row and a set of headphones, and you can just push a button and talk into the mic and see how it sounds. Some of them are real inexpensive or you can spend up to a thousand dollars on one. I don't think any of you really need that. Um, and then uh, the last thing I'm gonna show you in this setup is of course this mic will pick up the audio through this mic. Uh, the TV I have hooked to a sound bar uh, it's made by, who makes that? I'm trying to remember. Uh, Samsung. Samsung makes the soundbar. It's this black thing that you see here. And uh, down below, which you can't see, is a little subwoofer. And you can get it pretty loud. I mean, a lot of you might practice with your headphones. But if I was to turn this up, you know, you can get, you can get pretty loud. If it's fairly loud, this mic will pick up your, your music, but you still have that kind of weird echoey sound to the audio. So what I do is before I go to record, if you go up on your playground sessions, um, in between the metronome symbol and the accompanying, a company, I can't say that, accompaniments, <laughs> whatever, however you say that, accompaniments, have to add this to the blooper reel, uh, is a little microphone symbol. You click that and it will record the audio right out of uh, right out of the piano. 
along with the background music. Um, you don't have to have the background music. You can always turn that off with the, uh, with the little control up there on the screen. So that's the basic physical setup. I hope it helped you. Now part two, I'm going to show you how I do the editing. And again, there's probably 20, 30 different types of editors out there. I'm going to show you the one I have. Um, it is Adobe Premiere Pro. Uh, it's pretty pricey, but a lot of people have talked about um, uh, a free one out there, and I'm having a brain fade on what that one is. Um, uh, but they all work about the same. Um, I'll have a link to that free one in this video. Uh, but they, they work about the same. You'll have a waveform that you're going to edit. You'll have your video that you're going to edit. And you're going to have your audio. Either the audio is going to be off your microphone or it's going to be off the recorded audio. And I'll show you how I match those up. Uh, and again, it's uh, going to depend on the editor that you're using. But the concepts are all about the same. So hopefully that helped you. Um, again, you can get all these cute little adapters uh, at Best Buy, uh, Amazon, um, even Walmart, I think, has, has these kind of things. You can get these HDMI cables. Um, some of them, like this, is a USB... C2 HDMI all in one big old long cable, then you don't need an adapter. I don't really like adapters if I can get around it. So that's it for now. Um, and right after this, I'll post the link to how I do the editing. So hope you hope you liked it.